Hello, welcome to the Daily Nature Journal. Today's video is about catching up. I've got to finish off April and we're now kind of a good week or so into May and I still haven't started May's pages yet. So in this video I'm just going to be going through all of the spreads that I've still got to do some work on and getting all of those finishing touches down. And I'll be talking to you a little bit about how to do the catch-up job when you're a little bit behind in your nature journal. So to begin with I've got to go through here, finish off my weather observations. I do have some notes that I've put elsewhere in a different journal so it shouldn't be too much effort to just catch up through here. Then I've got some pressed bluebells that I've put into the press at the beginning of April and they're ready now to be put onto here. I've got this page, I'm very happy with how it looks. I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I know that there's extra space here, but I think I want to keep the emphasis on this lovely red campion. This one of the puffins on Skomo Island, yeah, I'm done with this. I think this one's looking good. And again, this one with the thrift on the coast path is pretty much done. And here I've just got a bit of work to do on these nettles. I have got some other uh, nettle tip ink to put down. So this was the first one. And this was the nettles that had grown in a very iron rich soil. So let me just show you in here. So this is my first nettle ink. And that's the one that these nettles were painted with. My second nettle ink was from nettles that hadn't grown in such an iron rich soil and it's got this wonderful olivey colour. So I want to also paint some more nettles in and I may put some other pressed flowers here to embellish it a little bit more. And then this one is my rock pool picture which I'm happy with and we can leave that one. And then here we're going on to May. So I've just got a few little finishing touches to do. Just catching up a little bit with the weather observations first, finishing off those for the month. And I'm making it very clear that for the end of this part of the month, I was in Pembrokeshire rather than back home in Devon. Now I'm just going to lay out these bluebells together with my sketch. And I just want to make sure that they're going to look good on the page. So just a little bit of checking with various different pressings. I've got quite a few different bluebells to play with. Now I'm just gluing these down with some EVA glue, one coat on the back and then a coat over the top as well. This one's nice and dry now and I've just been out gathering some red campion and cow parsley and I've been feeding the robins too. The robin that I've been showing you in quite a few of my earlier videos has now had a brood and these are his chicks. And it's been really lovely to be feeding them over the last few days. And they're really bold too and quite happy to just sit in your hand. So now I think I'm happy. I've finished this page. And last thing I want to do now is just to do a bit of work on this page here with the new nettles. I'm just pouring a shallow layer into here. This is my second batch of nettle ink that I showed you earlier. Now I have my cow parsley leaves. I'm just making sure that they've got enough ink on. So just tapping them in. These usually they kind of soak up the ink quite nicely. I'm starting to get a few shapes now. Sometimes it takes a bit of experimenting doing this. I want to try and get the impression of a page full of foliage. And these will be going in the flower press when I'm finished with them. So I like the shape of these leaves. This one makes a particularly good print. OK, 
guess ideally I should be doing this with nettle leaves. I think that would be a bit uncomfortable. So I'll stick with these. And these have a wonderful shape too. So this is going to get darker as it dries, as this sink always does. So it's going to leave these wonderful patterns of the cow parsley leaf on my page. Now sometimes, you know, like I've had to do here, when you're really running out of time and you need to get onto the new month, there's ways that you can make pages quite quickly. So by pressing flowers and then restoring those from your press and gluing them in, you can use printing techniques such as this, so you can fill some space with a plant that's still available in the next month. And also you can do quicker paintings like the one that I did here. And this one only took me about, say, 20 minutes. And then gluing some collage materials and a few uh, pressed flowers in as well. And now within the space of a couple of hours, I've managed to complete my April spreads. And so now I'm ready to get started on May in the next video. So I hope that gives you a few ideas, a few thoughts on what you can do to catch up if you're ever behind in your nature journal. This is also the topic of last month's monthly blog, which is available on my Patreon. That's available to all patrons, regardless of the amount that you pledge. And that's similar for all of my journal pages. And some of the other additional content is also for anyone who donates anything to me. And all of your pledges help me to keep on going, keep on experimenting and creating content for the YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some good ideas for your own nature journaling. Please do like the video and let me know if you've tried these or you think you might like to try something like this in the future. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video when we'll be getting started on May.